My precious child, darling of my heart, do not fear, for you already possess my blessing. Soon, you will rise above the troubles that currently weigh heavily on your mind. Remember, I have promised to always be by your side, guiding and protecting you, wrapping you in my divine love. Just as the sun emerges after a storm, my light will illuminate your path and guide you to a place of peace and tranquility. Trust in my love and my power, which are greater than any challenge you may face. I am with you always, showering you with blessings and fortifying your spirit. I know you understand this well, but I also want you to demonstrate it by wiping away those tears from your face and having the confidence to come into my presence wherever you may be. Simply close your eyes, call out to me and I will answer you. Whether your voice is loud with desperation or quiet with whispers, I will listen. Miracles begin when your faith is ignited. Search in my word for the sacred promise where I clearly stated that if you believe in me and fill your heart with my word, greater miracles you will see through your faith and prayers, turning them into reality. So do not fear, and never be discouraged. Ask of me, and I will give unto you. Place your hands upon the sick, and I will heal them. Rebuke the winds, the financial troubles, and the storms. Banish from your home the disputes and animosities. Speak my word with reverence and faith, for no miracle is beyond my reach. I desire and am able to bless you, to deepen your understanding of my word and to fortify your heart. Do not fear when adversaries threaten your family. Many, consumed by their own wrongdoings and isolated in their solitude, roam like roaring lions, seeking to divide and plunder innocent families. But you and all in your household stand firm Raise your hands in praise and pray to my holy name. For when I hear your voices raised in faith, your enemies will flee and be vanquished. Tomorrow wake with a renewed spirit. It is time to refresh your thoughts, to dispel negativity, and to dedicate yourself to persistently seeking me, regardless of the circumstances. You will advance. Despite your setbacks, I assure you, my child, there is hope for you and your family. It is true that some may waver and others may gradually lose their faith, but I am here, ready to forgive everyone, to purify their hearts and souls, and to grant them the strength to resist temptation. Should they falter again, they will rise anew, humble in spirit and eager for repentance and transformation. I will be here, waiting for them. I understand you are human, and the world you live in is fraught with challenges. It is tough to traverse the mire and dirt without selling your white garments with faults and guilt, but hear this from me directly. I am your loving father, the companion who walks beside you, and in all matters of faults, failures, sins, and forgiveness, I am your staunch advocate and defender. What a blessed position you hold in the heavenly court. Your victory is certain, for you have a loyal and sincere heart, an advocate who defends you, a judge who loves you and overlooks your faults, because you have sought refuge in the redemption I secured for you on that painful cross. Now tell me, do you accept my forgiveness? Do you joyfully receive my blessing? Will you stop dwelling on the past? You will no longer mourn over those who have hurt you. What once seemed like love turned into an obsession, and they cleverly trapped you with their deceitful ways. But that is behind you now, and there it will stay. All the painful memories will fade from your mind, and when you wake tomorrow, you will not focus on negative thoughts. Rise and give thanks for your life and your family, for the new mercies I am preparing for you. I am lifting you to a spiritual level where troubles vanish when you close your eyes and call out to me. I grant you freedom to fortify yourself and prepare for the new opportunities that will soon bring great blessings for you and your family. But now, 
I ask you to affirm with all your heart that you believe and that today you joyfully accept my love and blessing. I speak to you with all my affection and love. Feel your anxiety fade away as you listen to my voice. Take a moment to rest. Spend a few minutes in my embrace. Here, as I comfort your soul, tell me what I can do to restore your peace. You are by my side, and I do not want you to suffer. I want you to enjoy the blessings I am giving you, and to have a zest for life. Learn to trust in my word, to be sure that I fulfill my promises, and to recognize my voice when I speak to you. I desire for your relationship with me to be stronger, closer, and more transparent. Soon, you will begin to comprehend all the wonders I plan to perform in your life. But for that, you must kneel daily and sincerely seek me. The moments you spend with me are precious, and I have shown you this by filling you with peace and love whenever you take even a few minutes to pray. It is time for you to witness miraculous and supernatural events. Open your eyes to the countless opportunities around you. Look in the mirror and see beyond what the person before you can see. You are the bearer of my blessing and power. You are an invincible warrior, feared by your enemies, steadfast in your decisions, and victorious in your conflicts. My dear child, what are you waiting for? Rise up. Open your arms and receive all the blessings I am bestowing upon you. Do not waste time again by thinking you do not deserve them because it is not about your level of perfection. I have already cleansed you with my blood and granted you my forgiveness. Listen to me, my dear, and accept my love. Do not continue to doubt. Believe it with all your heart. Calm your heart. Ease your mind. Stop worrying about those things you have entrusted to me today with faith. Believe in my love. Accept my peace. Receive my comfort. Embrace my forgiveness. I am in control. I am helping you, and I will not let you be defeated. I will not let anyone humiliate you. Lift your head high, for if you believe in my word, walk with firm steps and do not fear those who oppose you. Receive with faith what I am speaking to you. Be filled with strength, and you will not be overcome. I know sometimes you may feel weak, but you need not worry. Even if your enemies appear formidable, with your faith in my power you can overcome. Be like giants, and anyone who dares to challenge you will be defeated. The days ahead will be filled with joy. Stand firm and persist through the trials. If things do not seem to go as you planned, it is because they are unfolding according to my will. Therefore, rejoice when you encounter conflicts. Smile and keep your peace when many enemies confront you. Fear nothing, for as challenges increase, your blessings grow greater, and my grace upon you is poured out. You are unique. You have chosen to believe, to persist, and to persevere. You have cast aside fear, and in the midst of trials, your remarkable faith has allowed you to endure. That is why today I increase your blessings. I will open the doors of heaven for you. Your peace and strength will grow even greater. I grant you the gift of wisdom. I am filling you with hope so that you may continue to embrace life. Do not stop for anything. Keep moving forward until you achieve your goals. You will feel supernatural joy when you see my promises come to life in you. No longer hold back your tears. Your heart is overflowing with so many turbulent emotions like waves. Cry, my child, for I know there are many storms in your mind and your soul is weary. You do not need to hide your feelings from me. You can speak to me honestly, for I value your sincerity. Your tears are precious to me and when you cry out, you touch my heart. Cry out in your pain. Cry out when you find yourself at a loss for words and unable to express your overwhelming feelings. Cry out, 
when you feel at the end of your strength, when you confront insurmountable obstacles and feel frustrated by your inability to move forward. You might feel like you have failed, but it's time to realize that only with my help can you overcome the obstacles before you. Today marks the day of your freedom. You no longer need to endure humiliation or contempt. If you believe with faith that the King of Heaven came to this earth to suffer for you, to endure all possible pain and torment, if you believe in your heart that I gave my life on a cross so that you might truly live, then embrace the courage I am providing you today. Feel it as your being is healed by my power. I give you courage and strength today to rise up and move away from the things that cause you so much distress and anguish. Go forward now with confidence to face the day. Today I fill you with peace and strength. No one can take this joy from you. I am here by your side if you wish to speak with me, to tell me how things are going. And if you want to return to my arms and cry, come and cry and I will welcome you, embracing you with all my affection. Immerse yourself in me. The journey is still long and thousands of joys await you. Keep fighting and protecting the dreams that are just beginning to sprout. Grow and become great. Be happy, but you must continue the fight, filling yourself with my spirit, staying connected with me and I with you. For in me, you will always find strength in the answers to your toughest questions. Close your ears to other voices, for when you speak to me, I respond, and I will tell you what you need to know clearly. I am your guide and I want to guide you, take you by the hand, and lead you along your entire journey, protecting you in sad moments. With my hand on your shoulder, so you know I am always with you, in every situation, at all times, ready to love you. That is why fill yourself with me. I have many, many, many blessings to give you. Fill yourself with me. Live, rejoice, sing. Let the living waters of my power flow through you. If others hate you on your path, I love you. If you are dead to others, you live for me. Indeed, deep within my eternal heart, from which I will never cast you out, immerse yourself in the sea of trust and let my voice guide you. Do not be swept away by the unstable currents that seek to throw you against the sharp rocks. They aim to steal your spirit, demotivate you, and kill your immense desire to succeed when you aspire to soar high. There will always be contrary winds attempting to pull you into an abyss. If you want to achieve true success, you will need a companion on your journey, someone who truly understands you, who does not judge you, who always cares for you and assists you. And I am here to accompany you. Fill yourself with me, take my hand, I have thousands of blessings to give you. I will not fail you. I will not abandon you. I will not despise you. I will not leave you alone. In any moments of sadness or loneliness, whatever you are feeling right now, set aside those negative feelings and embrace this truth in your soul. I love you immensely. This divine affection I feel for you is boundless, vast beyond words. There's no way to fully describe it or explain it, but you will only truly experience it if you shut out all the voices that belittle you and undermine your worth. I love you. Let me say it again. It's not about understanding it intellectually. If you want to survive and emerge victorious from this great challenge, you must choose to believe. In this situation, there's not much you can do on your own. You won't prevail through physical might or armies, but by the power of my Holy Spirit, who descends like a white dove and rests upon your shoulder, responding to the call of your faith. It's impossible for you to reach my throne by your own merits and actions. Trying to please me is futile if you remain trapped in disbelief. I love you. I know you have sinned and made mistakes. I understand the pain of failure and your desire not to fail again. You come before me seeking another chance, regardless of what happens. Don't lose your faith. Be strong and brave. 
Do not be afraid or discouraged, for I am always with you wherever you go. I will be by your side, dressing you in royal garments, sending my army of angels to protect you, and arming you with my shield and sword. I have witnessed, I am witnessing, and I will continue to witness your faith. Don't come to me with offerings of empty wealth. I don't desire talents and abilities just because they earn human admiration. What I want first is your faith, small, simple, and sincere. No one impresses me by boasting about their material wealth and false power. I will bless those with honest and faithful souls with humble hearts. I will deliver the oppressed, those who truly believe in this holy love, to all who wish to live under the shelter of the Most High and the shadow of the Almighty. I have set my eyes on you because I know who you are. Your faults don't scare me, your secrets don't push me away, your weaknesses don't anger me, and your poor decisions don't make me reject you. Always remember, I am not human, I do not lie. I do not judge you. I love you unconditionally and selflessly because I want to love you forever. Nothing will change my mind. My grace and mercy are everlasting. But if you reject my word and join groups of disbelief, if you reject this truth, you are making a grave mistake. Here with me, you find love and affection. Emotions so profound and often beyond understanding. But if you choose to drift away, you're left with only one option, to live forever in deception and end up broken in the pit of despair. I am your protector, your guide, and your friend. I will always be by your side to support you and help you find the right path. Don't fear or be ashamed to ask for my help when you need it, even if the situation seems insurmountable. I assure you that with my divine intervention, you can overcome anything in your way, no matter how great the adversity you face. You can always count on me. I am your faithful companion, your true shepherd, your protector. When you feel all is lost and you can't go on, remember that I am here to give you strength, to lift you up when you fall, and to guide you towards my light. Together, we can overcome anything because I know that the love you have for me is stronger than all obstacles. My love for you is limitless and boundless. No matter your mistakes or sins, my love will always be greater and stronger. So don't lose faith and don't let sadness overwhelm you. Do not hesitate to ask for my help. I am here to listen to your deepest needs, to dry your tears, and to give you strength, peace, tranquility, and wisdom. There is nothing I care about more than your physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. I am always ready to take care of you and love you. Let happiness fill your life. Prepare your soul and seek me every day. Never forget who blesses you and guards your heart. I'm always here for you. My eternal love transcends crises. The threats of this world may mislead you and make you feel trapped, but I have come to breathe life into you, to strengthen your faith, to open your spiritual eyes, and to assure you that the value and love I offer will not diminish because of your faults or the multitude of your problems. I will rescue you from the pit you've fallen into. I am reaching out my hand to you and I will raise you to a place of spiritual strength. You are incredibly valuable to me. I need you to know this. In the morning as the sun rises, think of me. When my ray of light shines through your window, know that my mercy is renewed and my spirit invites you to spend time in prayer. Tell me how you feel, share your plans with me, and confide your fears in me and I will reinforce my promise and answer your prayers. The most important thing is that with every minute you spend in sincere faith, you can feel in your heart how I embrace you with immense love and provide the security you need to navigate your days. I have erased the pages where your tears were recorded in red ink. I have forgiven your sins. 
I have permanently removed all the causes of your pain from your heart. I have personally removed those roots that kept reminding you of your despair. You are free. Truly free. Tell me you believe it. Write these words on a piece of paper. You are free forever because of this love. Not because you earned your freedom or through your perfection. I know very well that you cannot free yourself from eternal punishment. Your freedom has been secured and your debts are cleared. Your victory is guaranteed. My promises are steadfast because they are sealed with immense, profound and beautiful love. I don't want you to ask me to explain this, rather live it, feel it, embrace it. This wonderful love fills your heart. You who were hesitant to believe in love because people have let you down, look who has come. I, the creator of the universe, have come to find you, to tell you with the most unexpected methods how much I care. You don't need to travel to distant places or climb mountains to hear my voice. I want to touch your heart. Here and now, in this moment, you can already feel the immense love I have for you. And even if you were reluctant to accept it, I love you so much that I won't let you stray away from me. So, embrace this new life, free from loneliness and fear, enveloped in my affection, sailing on an ocean of happiness while my love guides your journey towards the harbor where you'll receive the crown of victory. There you will be blessed with eternal joy, prosperity, and sacred treasures. No thief can rob you if you decide to transform your life. You must cast aside all disbelief. The enemy tries to sow doubts in your mind because he does not want you to know me. To see for yourself how all my promises are fulfilled. I want your simple faith, humility in your heart, not relying on your own prudence. Bring me your plans at the start of the day and allow me to be your shepherd guiding you to the lush green pastures you so desire. Here, my presence reigns, not your emotions. Anxiety has no place. Your heart lives in peace. Neither bad news nor hardships can shake you. Long for the day when you get to know me better, when you receive my forgiving love and accept it just as you are. I love you unconditionally. This sweet affection will transform you. Your character will change. You won't wake up fearful of what might happen. You are not weak. You are strong. You are not cowardly. You are brave. You are not enslaved by despair because I have given you a spirit of love and power. Those unstable emotions will come under my authority. Instead of anxiety and fear, my strength will fill your heart. Today, you receive freedom and realize who you truly are. You are my child. You radiate with my grace, truth, peace and blessings. Wherever you go, they will follow you. You're deserving of my love and you always will be. Don't feel unworthy. I want all doubts and fears to leave your mind and for you to be truly happy every day. At any moment, my love is available to you. Even if you make mistakes, I will be here to love and listen to you. Because only my love has the power to transform you. That's why I'm always ready to show you the best path. To transform you into a person of kindness, blessed and full of virtues. I'm here to guide you, to save your soul, to cleanse you and fill you with wisdom. So you don't make the same mistake again. You know well that I'll never deny you my love. I want to transform your life, give you health and prosperity. I will never abandon you. I will always be by your side to help you lead a life of great victories. I've told you many times how precious you are to me. The more you persist in loving me, obeying me and walking with me, the more I'll bless you. I'm here to extend my hand and pull you out of the deep pit where life's challenges have thrown you. It's time for you to stop suffering and leave behind the path of pain. Today, I fill you with my love. I grant you the profound peace you need to rise and continue forward. 
I give you the strength to walk in faith and make positive changes in your life. Hand over all your feelings of guilt and shame. Let your heart be filled with my love and strength. I forgive you. Embrace me and join me in a new life. I'm rescuing you right now. I want you to feel worthy of my love, my blessings, and all the joy I am offering because you are my child and you deserve a life filled with light, wisdom, and abundance. Even in the midst of your toughest struggles, when you face scarcities and persecutions, I will be with you and provide all that you need. Do not fear anything. Your life and your family's lives are in my hands. Today I offer you the purest love there is. Listen to this. It is worth continuing to fight. It is worth enduring. Your prayers, sleepless nights, tears, perseverance, and pain will yield great fruit and transform into a wonderful blessing. The change in your family will happen. Don't doubt it. Don't despair. You will witness it with your own eyes. Do not grow weary of sowing even if your hands are tired and your eyes are tearful. One day, everyone will see how you return victorious with the wonderful fruits of your struggles and pain. You may not understand it now, but you know well that you cannot give up. The future ahead of you is in my hands. I hold your life in my care, but I also need your steadfast faith, that fervent and courageous way you believe. The promises you are hearing and embracing are the foundation of your blessing. They are the basis for the many blessings that will enter your life. I hope you heed my advice and take time today to seek me, to be filled with my spirit, to receive all that I have for you. Breathe in my peace, calm down, organize all your thoughts, and focus the strength I give you on aspects of your life, your relationship with me, your family, your dreams, your desires, the mission I've entrusted to you, let my words echo in your mind and be inscribed on your soul, engraved in your heart. Know that my love for you is so immense that I will not let anyone harm you or allow the blessings I have given you to be squandered. You will never accept defeat. If in the days ahead you feel overwhelmed and think it's not worth fighting or living, remember your battling emotions and feelings, but I have the final say. I will take you by the hand and not let you sink further. I will rescue you. I will lift you up. I love you deeply. Open your arms to the enormous blessings coming your way. You are under my protection and care. Everything you receive is from my grace and love. Recognize this and be grateful. You will recover many things you cherished and lost. Those family members who were angry and had drifted away will rethink their actions and return, realizing their mistakes. It's good that you also recognized your errors and repented. It's wonderful that you've chosen to return to the right path. You were never meant to be with the enemy, even though they tried to ruin your life and take your happiness and blessings. I will reward your repentance with my grace and kindness. Understand that you still have many years ahead, and you must live them well. Strive to keep learning from me and strengthen your faith in my promises, in my word. With me, you will defeat armies that oppose you, leap over walls that try to stop you, and perform feats at just the right moment. When it seems like you've reached the end, you will see my powerful hand parting the sea making a way for you in the desert, raining majestic blessings upon you. You must come to me and take refuge under my care when things get tough, but please don't try to fight that cruel battle with your own strength. I've made you brave so that you can believe in my word, so you can advance confidently, knowing that my hand protects you. Let others boast of their power and skill that they don't really possess, but you, Trust and believe in me and you will go further than others if you faithfully keep my commandments. I understand very well that there will be times when you will fail, feel weak, 
and tired, lacking the desire to continue fighting. But for that very reason, I came, I died on a cross, and resurrected with power and glory, to lift you up in your difficult moments, to assist you at all times. I won't be far away. If you call me, I'll never ignore you. When you need me, I won't ignore you. This is my promise and my covenant. It's still valid, and I haven't forgotten it. Call out to me and I will answer you, showing you wonders and miracles beyond your wildest dreams. I am your almighty, forgiving, and merciful God. Start each day with me. I'll be waiting for you. I delight in showing you how much I love you. Now, let me ask you a question. Listen carefully and answer without fear. Whatever your response, I will still love you. You have my support in the good things you do. I will continue to bless and protect you. It's not a difficult question, but some who claim to seek me remain silent, unsure of what to say or do. Perhaps at this moment, you don't fully understand who you are and what you can become. Before you respond, hear this message again, engrave it, write it down, share it with many. Feel how these words lift fears from your mind and strengthen your convictions and faith. This growing flame within your spirit cannot be quenched. My Holy Spirit has descended upon you and, from today forward, expect to witness wonders and miracles. Now, please answer me. In the face of the trials you encounter, what will you do? Will you march forward like a valiant soldier, or will you shrink back in fear? Will you endure humiliations and let the wicked prevail over you? Or will you rise up in my holy name and seize the victory that I have already secured for you? Tell me that you won't fear anything or anyone no matter how big, strong, rich, or intelligent they may be. Even if your enemy dresses in intimidating attire and their threats make cowards tremble, you won't fear. Because the Almighty God is with you. Who are those wicked ones to challenge you? They seek only to instill fear in you. Understand this. If you're going to take your faith seriously, recognize all the authority I'm giving you. I'm not granting you this authority so you can humiliate or harm your brothers and sisters or to boast about who you are to others. My power doesn't work in your life without humility. But in your peaceful heart, my presence dwells and, with the right attitude, you will conquer nations. So remember, even if you feel weak at times, you are not always weak. Even when the evil one whispers in your ear, during moments of vulnerability, telling you that you're unworthy, remember that you are worthy. You are worthy of my embrace, my love, my forgiveness, of this home that awaits you with affection. You have an inheritance that you're already receiving. You're my child, and I will continue speaking to you every day because I want to see you and your family thrive. I want to, I can, and I will bless you more. Tell me that you believe it. I have many good news to share with you. Before you stands the blessing you've been waiting for. The days ahead will be joyful and happy for you and your family. I am removing the discouragement that clouds your thoughts. I've taken away all the consequences and curses of your sins. There will be no obstacle to the many beautiful things I want to give you. Because I myself have canceled the bill of guilt and remorse that your enemy has come to collect. While the world is filled with fear and insecurity, you have direct access to my heavenly throne. You are my protected and loved child. You have the legal right to cry out to me and be heard. While people seek refuge in their own resources, fill yourself with confidence, because your hope is in me. I will never abandon you. You must believe and trust. Be strong in this grace, unwavering in your loyalty. You can stand in the midst of storms and command them to stop with a firm voice, and those storms will obey you. 
Do not be afraid, try it, and you will see. When conflict tries to entangle you with its tricks, raise your arms in victory. As your heart cries out to me, the walls that hinder you will turn to dust and the armies that defy you will be paralyzed in the mud. Stand up and walk. Take this good news to everyone who needs to hear it. My power accompanies you, and when you speak and share these words, miracles will occur. No nation, leader, or government can provide the security your soul requires. They may promise you peace and prosperity, but you will not find them, as the darkness enveloping humanity deepens with each passing hour. Do not depend on anyone else in this world. Do not entrust your life to human beings who are also fallible. Do not be impressed or swayed by those who pretend to wield power. Not everyone who calls me Lord Lord will enter my presence. Do not trust those who offer miracles in exchange for your offerings, who raise their voices to impress you with their clamor. Trust only in me. When I speak to you, you will recognize my voice. I am your God, your Creator, your Savior. I am the good news that fills your heart. While others are downtrodden, you will rise with joy. While others believe they cannot continue, you, filled with my love and my Holy Spirit, will rise each day. Tell me with all your soul and proclaim a resounding Amen.